Hey everyone, Nick Nielsen, Certified Financial Planner. I want to tell you the story of a young boy and a rattlesnake. In this village, it was a rite of passage for a young boy to be considered a man. He would have to go to a mountain, climb the mountain, spend the night, and then come back down the following day. As this young man set out to the mountain, as he got to the very base of the mountain, a rattlesnake jumped out at him and said very eloquently and well-spoken, Excuse me, young man, is there any way that you could take me to the top of the mountain? As you see that I've, I've become disconnected from my family and they're at the top of the mountain waiting for me and you would really help me get to my family faster. The young man responded, I can't take you to the top of the mountain, but you're a rattlesnake and you'll bite me. Oh, young boy, I promise I won't bite you. I just need to be reunited with my family and you could really help me. The young man thought about it for a few minutes and decided, you know what, this seems like a very well-spoken and kind rattlesnake. Let me put you in my backpack and I'll take you up to the top of the mountain and reunite you with your family. After all, I'm going to the top of the mountain anyway. So the rattlesnake went in the boy's backpack and the young boy ascended the mountain. At the very top of the mountain when he reached the summit, he saw the remainder of the rattlesnake's family. The rattlesnake was united with his family and everything was euphoric. The young man went to sleep and woke up the next morning realizing that he had reached the summit, that he had helped this rattlesnake family be, re be reunited together, and he was getting ready to descend back to his village. Before he began his descent, the rattlesnake that he helped came up to him and bit him perfectly on the leg. The boy was dying. There was no way that he could get help in time. And as he was dying, he said to the rattlesnake, Why did you bite me? I helped you out when you needed it the most. The rattlesnake's message was, Remember, you knew what I was when you picked me up. What does this story have to do with financial planning? Probably a lot, especially right now. There are rattlesnakes around your financial plan. It could be things like only owning meme stocks or having large concentrations in cryptocurrencies that are incredibly volatile. It could be owning only growth stocks. It could be chasing returns and the desire to get rich quick. It could be as simple as not being able to have money conversations with your spouse or spending money like a drunken sailor. Whatever it is, watch out for the rattlesnakes in your own life. We all have them. And remember, you knew what they were before you picked them up.